get any room to manoeuvre. Yeboah was being well shackled and one couldn't really see a goal coming for Garner. And then out of the blue, a whipped corner, a fine header and um, as I say, the team talk changes dramatically. Underlining, David, as we say so often in football, it only takes a second to score a goal. And that header from Prince Polly coming completely out of the... It sets us up superbly for the second half, but let's take you back now with highlights of the first. Nigeria quickly into their stride in the all-green strip. Remember, they won their group with a 100% record. They've never lost to Ghana in uh, two previous ANC meetings. And they have an early goal through Adipoju. Perhaps the goalkeeper might have done better there, David. Yes, it was a little bit of interplay, wasn't it, around the box. Bafo got pulled out of position. There wasn't enough pressure on the ball uh, when that chip went in there. And Adebichu just got in front. There's the ball. It needed to be pressured a little bit sooner. He gets lovely height on that ball, and there's two men jumping against the lone Ghanaian defender, and uh, the important first goal is scored. Bafo getting pulled out, the goalkeeper making a little bit of a mess of it. There's the ball in, nice little ball. Adipoku then, who plays his football in the Spanish second division at Castellón, and it underlines once again the maturity being shown by these African players who've made the grade into European leagues. And indeed, we'll see later on the goal scorer for Ghana also playing his club football in Belgium. But Nigeria, really, with all the early chances, making space for a shot there at the back of the box. And the player might have done better to have laid that one off. But still, they come forward. It's a tide of green here with the Super Eagles once again in full flow. Two classic counter-attacks there. The second, a very fine save by Ansa, going down at the feet of... Uh, uh, Yakini, was that? Sasia. Sasia, yes. And, and then a fine header just past the post once again by that same player. Yakini, of course, the leading scorer in the competition, but here was the Ghanaian equaliser. And as you quite rightly said, David, one of the uh, cardinal principles of football having two men on the post for corners. Yeah, often it depends on what the goalkeeper wants, what he's happiest with. And the strange irony there is that as that ball was floated onto the head of Prince Polly, um, had Agbula come away from the line, then for sure there would have been an offside decision. Here we see it again as the outswinger is played. Once the contact is made, Agbula stands on the line. Everyone else has cleared the six-yard box. And indeed there's two Ghanaian forwards there in, in an offside position had Agbula strayed in front of them from the line. But um, credit the goal, it is a fine swerving header and um, I think the goalkeeper there has been beaten in the only possible corner. So all now the two men on the line note for the corner. Absolutely. Looking for the little flick, the back flick. And bodies here and Ghana in front. Ghana take the lead. And having been a goal down, I think it's Ampia who gets in at the far post. And from Pele's corner, Ghana are in front for the first time in the match. And so the Black Stars have gone in front of Nigeria from Pele's corner, which wasn't properly cleared. They look for the back kick on the near post. The shot wobbled along and driven over the top of goalkeeper Agu. Once again from a corner, fine effort. I mean, he really swung quickly and hit that. Fine volley. And as the two defenders came off the line, I think it was number seven there that uh, reacted quickest to try and get uh, 